Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where I just noticed that we are currently going backwards on energy credits, primarily because we are currently at 94 out of 93 starbases. So we should get rid of a starbase. Uh, a bond station. You seem like a good one to get rid of. We don't need you. Let's see, we might as well also get, a, get rid of Adelamar. No, not upgrade. Downgrade. There we go. Tereus. We don't need you. Oblion, we don't need you. Mestros, we don't need you. And Olbers, we don't need you. Otherwise, I think we are fine up here over by the... What was their name? I don't even remember. The guys that were up here, I think we're fine. So we're now at 88 out of 93, and we should start making energy credits again soon. Theoretically. 737 out of 687. Yeah, we're now making energy credits again. So we are currently well underway in this war. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce Legion 01, which apparently took some losses. Legion 02 did as well. And the Intercept Fleet did as well. We'll go ahead and get those all cleared up. Okay, and I want the Intercept Fleet to now come up and hit Dratum. And I want Legion 01 to hit Vidirian, which is going to take it a little bit of time to get to. Maybe instead... No. Um, how strong is the Spica station? It's a pretty crappy station. It has not started regenerating yet. Okay. 6.8k? I mean, it's a really crappy station. Yeah. All things considered... There is a Stargate there, though, so we should probably go ahead and start... Well, we can't yet, but we should probably we should probably refit it, since there is a gateway there. Okay, we're still pushing ahead over here. That's fine. The Dradim Station, of course, we're going to be able to take care of pretty easily. And then we're just going to bombard the Falnik colony at that point with the intercept fleet. That's pretty much all we need to do. Come on. It's just a citadel station. We almost got this. Okay, so did we lose any ships? We did lose ships. Construction complete. We'll go ahead and get those back, and in the meantime, bombard the Falnik colony. Excellent. So they're trying to take back the Poder system. That's uh, not going to go well for them. Not going to go well at all. <laughs> oh, they're just committing suicide at that point. Okay, so we are after this, hitting here, then here. And then we're going to go down to the Trappist system, I think. We've still got a number of systems we can hit over this way, so we're just pushing in the Eradicators pretty heavily. And it looks like the Hive is completely unable to fight their war, Construction so there's complete. that. We're still 110 days from being over here. And of course, the Colossus is still quite a few days away from attacking Bapagia. Probably close to a year, I would say. But, you know, purging the entire galaxy of life is a uh, kind of lengthy operation, as the Reapers pointed out. You know, I really thought in Mass Effect 3 there was going to be a lot more of a sense of urgency, but then the Reapers were taking, you know, like, months to, to purge a single planet, and I was like, oh, okay, so we've got a lot of time then. I mean, it, it was, it was, it, it makes a lot of sense, don't get me wrong, but uh, it, it was a stated that the, for our that, that the, uh, oh, what, the Protheans, that's the word I'm looking for. It was stated that the Protheans fought against them for what, like at least a hundred years before their empire fell? So, I mean, it makes sense. How goes this bombardment anyway? That's enough Mass Effect talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going fine. Slowly, but fine. 
we're definitely pushing them in over here. As soon as we're done with Trappist, we're going to fall back to Minsure. And we're going to need to be able to push through this, but for now it's going to take some time. We've definitely kind of stopped any offensives that they had going on. They kind of stopped trying to do offensives. Eber Machis has now got itself a shiny new gateway, and that's fantastic. So we're going to hit up the Trappist system, and there's a lot of things here. Look at that, three three colonized worlds. It's insane. But it's completely fine. We'll get it taken care of. Fall back to Mincher at this point. I mean, it's still kind of an aggressive move. But we still need to take these two these two systems over here in addition to Mincher. We're going to have to backtrack and go like that because of the FTL inhibitor, but it's fine. Not really concerned. Okay, so we should be bombarding Volgar here in hopes of being able to take the Vidirian system. That would be super nice. Of course, with two fleets busy bombarding <laughs> and a Colossus, we'll be able to clean up all of this stuff relatively quickly. And then we've got this fleet to respond if they decide to try any funny business, but it seems like they're not too interested in that, which is good. We've got a lot of territory over here that they probably can take. Like, they can break out again. Well, I don't know. They'll have a hard time getting through the Sea of Thea station at this point. It'll take them at least a year to get there, and the Citadel will be built up. And I, I think we've pretty much sapped all of their will to live, honestly. We should probably jump into here. Just to hopefully get rid of some of these. And we got a new one. Excellent. Now it's gone. Okay, this one is still here, as is this one. I suspect those are from one of these up here. I guess we'll just hop into all of these, see if we can clean up any of those. Nope. Okay. I guess we're just going to have these bugs still here. I was really hoping they had fixed that bug with this new patch. But alas. Apparently, they did not. How go these bombardments, anyway? Slowly, still. Very, very slowly. That's kind of the way those bombardments go. So where is our Colossus? Actually, look at that one. Is that because we were bombarding? Like, I think they might have made this bug worse with this patch. It might be because we're running on an old galaxy generated before Distant Stars came out, but I don't think so. This bug has kind of existed for a long time. Anyway, we'll just ignore it for now, I guess. Okay, so we need you to come over to Demon Small and then Aranus, and then just hold at Athos. And we'll just be able to respond to multiple directions at Athos. It's a nice cutoff point anyway. So at this point, we are basically just waiting for our uh, Colossus to get up here. And for our bombardments to finish up. Freeing up various other resources. And just get past the FTL inhibitors. That's all we're waiting for. They don't have much in terms of fleets left, although if they would group them all together, they might be able to break through one of our... Uh... Yeah, they, they probably could break through one of our one of our bastions if they were to group all their fleets up. But we've already destroyed so many of their fleets and taken a lot of their territory, like, they're, they're not going to recover from this. Ideally, as far as long-term goals for this war go, I would like to completely wipe out the Valen Cooperative and the Human Harmonious Kingdom. I would ideally like to wipe out the Eradicators too. I don't think we're going to be able to wipe out the Democratic Corinth planets. But we'll see. We've been making good progress. We just need to continue making speedy progress through their planets, is the thing. I mean, 
we could build armies and land the old-fashioned way and, you know, grid amalgamate them and use them for energy, but it's too much like work. Nuke them from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. So that's what we're doing. We're going to neutron bombard New Palab. We'll be there in, what, about four months or so. That's not... That's not awful. Oh, look at that. They're actually attacking Spica. That's, uh... That's not gonna work. Congrats, you brought down the shields. And your fleet's gone. <laughs> oh, boy. A new world They're just desperately trying to be able colonists. to use these gateways again, I think. I wish them luck in that endeavor. They're gonna need it. Okay, so, I think, honestly, we go bombard Trappist. Well, there's so many things there. I still think we go bombard Trappist. It'll be a very long time before our Colossus is freed up to come hit Trappist, and this is a very strategic system here. It's the only way to get up here. So, yeah, I think Trappist is definitely where we need to go. What did we get? Enigmatic Encoder. Fantastic. Let's grab Enigmatic Decoder now. Excellent. So what exactly do those do? Oh, okay. Okay, so the encoder makes it so that they don't know where we're going as quickly, and the decoder makes it so that we know where they're going more quickly. Gotcha. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see, we don't need a starport here, or in the Belgium system. All things considered, we don't need a lot of these anymore. Euralian, we can get rid of that. Jazzmac, don't need that. We'll go through all of those later on. For now, all we need to do is continue killing Condine Concords. Screw those guys. They're too organic anyway. There we go. Our Colossus is now in system to be able to neutron bathe new Palab. That's great. How go our bombardments up here? Eh, about half done. And this one at Felnick Colony? Oh boy, nowhere near half done. Do they have a planetary shield generator? Or have we just been destroying like a million buildings instead of killing pops? I think we've just been killing buildings. That's just bad rolls. Yeah. Just been killing buildings. Super unfortunate. However, our Colossus is just about ready to bombard New Palab. Charging weapon, 50%. Excellent. After we take Bapagia, then we're going to hit Spica. Enemy fleet. Where is this? Where is this fleet? Okay. It's an 11k strong fleet in the middle of the Democratic Corinth planets. Don't really care. At all. That's completely fine. So let's just go ahead and hit Trappist. Excellent. This will eventually die, <laughs> but to get through three planets, that's going to take some time. Time that we may or may not have. I mean, we can get down here relatively quickly with the wormhole access in front. Or not. Trunt doesn't have a, a gateway super close to it. In fact, let's go ahead and queue up a gateway right next to this wormhole. That was the wrong button. Right next to this wormhole. There we go. Okay, and now the striker has finished in Bapagia. Head on over to Spica. In this system, we only have the Bosnicker colony. And we are going to go ahead and bombard that. 
Excellent. Making very, very good progress here. We should probably toss some of these systems at the Valen sector at this point so that we no longer have disconnected sectors. So let's go here, 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 as well as here and here. Our sector is now no longer disconnected. And now we just need to throw a million things at it. There we go. Get rid of their offensive here and add in ours. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, come on down here. Fantastic. Okay. Now we just got a few systems left up here that are essentially stragglers, and we'll just toss them in as we can. And then down here, I mean, at, at this point it's basically a waiting game. As far as I'm concerned, the war is over, and now we're just trying to grab up as much as we can. Being able to grab these four would be really, really nice. Um, we're definitely going to want to clean up all of this here. And then, like I said, I want to push into both the Valen Cooperative and the Hisma Eradicators. The further south we go in the Eradicators, kind of the longer it'll take, but their, their settling is really sparse, actually. And actually, so is the Valen Cooperative over here. Their settling is pretty sparse, too. So if we were able to take out all of this up to Sol, and then if we were able to take all of this and push into the Eradicators, I would be fine ending this war, because I doubt we're going to have the war exhaustion to take on the Democratic Corinth's planets. Tracking enemy fleet. So at that point, we would then be gearing up for another war against the Hive. But we are definitely on the downhill slide of this. We, uh... We took a lot of territory. And you know, thinking back on this game, we kind of got really lucky at the beginning because we went so long without ever meeting anyone, and we, we had such a big advantage from the beginning because of that. We were just able to expand, expand, expand at the beginning, and that gave us a lot of steam and we just kind of ran with it. So, all things considered, it was kind of lucky, but ultimately we probably would have gotten to this point anyway if they didn't band up and kill us early on. Which they may, they may have tried to do if they had run into us earlier. But by the time they ran into us, we were already looking pretty strong, and they didn't want to think about it. Okay, so our... Colossus is just about ready to head into Spica. Where is this battle? They are attacking a starbase. They are attacking a fully equipped Bastion with a 17k fleet. One battleship, two cruisers, 21 destroyers, and, and 21 corvettes. <laughs> oh, good luck, guys. Perdition Beam immediately takes out their battleship, just one-shotting it. Oh wait, that's not even a Perdition Beam on that, is it? What is it? Uh, Ship Designer. On the Ion Cannon. It's just... It is a Perdition Beam. I was right. But yeah, the Perdition Beam just one-shot their battleship. Never even had a chance. Ridiculous. I don't know what they were even trying. We have claimed a new world. Well, that's good, I suppose. Let's see, we are currently at 5% charging our weapon over Spica. How go these bombards? All three of our fleets are currently bombarding. Volgar is actually incredibly close. They only have one pop left. Excellent. Balnick Colony is still incredibly far away. We just keep hitting buildings there. Nothing but buildings. <laughs> We've only killed one pop. That is... That is really sad. <laughs> but hey, there's Volgar dead. Okay, come on over to Poder. Once you're here, 
just start bombarding Neuterbach. And we can't actually attack their gateway. That's fine. I wasn't planning to. I just wanted to know if we could. Because I've always thought it's kind of weird that you can't dismantle gateways. Like, if you've got one that's in a really unfortunate place, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just, it's just there. So I wanted to see if you could destroy hostile ones, but apparently not. Once they're there, they're there. So how goes our Sarah Kenjil bombardment? See, that one's actually going well. We're getting a lot done there. It's pretty impressive, really. As opposed to this. Which is incredibly unimpressive. <laughs> we have still only killed one pop. Well, pretty soon we're going to run out of buildings to hit. So there is that. Let's see, we are currently firing our weapon in Spica, so that is fantastic. We are going to be able to head to Fiesta very, very soon. And there we'll hit New Palab. In the meantime, New Turbak is already, I think, ahead of of uh, Falnik Colony. It pretty much is. <laughs> okay, ESS Striker, come on up here. Hit New Palab. Really? That's the route you're taking, huh? Interesting. Maybe we'd be better off coming down here. It's going to take a very long time to get here, too, but that's okay. Yeah, I think we're better off coming down here and hitting Uldara. And we'll just let our fleets finish off the Valen Cooperative. That should be just fine, I think. I mean, they're not going to finish them off because there's this big old chunk over here, but you know what I mean finish off this little exclave. If... Oh, hey. Central processing? Excellent. Let's go ahead and get this gateway building then, now that our construction ship has finished there. So if these guys can ever finish hitting buildings, <laughs> which they just keep hitting buildings, um... If they can ever finish hitting buildings and actually take out the Fallneck Colony, then we'll be in a great position to actually attack over here. But that doesn't seem to be something that they're interested in doing. Is a wee bit unfortunate. Neuterbach is already well ahead of it on the siege curve. This is like... Th this here is like in Europa. You have an army that has some really, really high siege rolls. Like, you've got a 5 or 6 pip siege general, and you've got, you know, like 7 or 8 cannons in it, and uh, you just you keep rolling status quo over and over and over, and it's like 5 years after you start the siege, it's still at negative 60%, and you're just like, oh, Gotta love RNG. <laughs> oh, boy. The good news is, our Colossus is not in the slightest RNG. We should probably throw Spica at the Valen Sector so that they can actually take advantage of that. There we go. And in the meantime, how goes our bombardment of Sarah Kenjil? Making really solid progress there. Of course, we've got three total worlds to bombard here in Trappist in order to get past we absolutely need to kill all of them. And then we've also got this nonsense over here. This one doesn't actually seem to have an FTL inhibitor in it. That's weird. Yeah, it does. It's just not showing up on the map, I guess. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So... It's going to take a little while longer for a Colossus to get here, and then the Colossus is going to be focused on breaking through the Eradicators. We're at 41% war exhaustion right now, so we've got plenty of time. Which is good, because Falnick Colony is going to need it. Look at that. We've still only killed one pop. That is disgusting. 
Like, they have no armies there. They don't have a planetary shield. I'm kind of confused at why this is taking this long. Like, we are bombarding this, right? Right, guys? You're bombarding. It says they're bombarding. Yeah, they're definitely bombarding. <laughs> oh. I have no idea. The Wait a second. The current bombardment stance of the orbiting fleet prohibits bombarding undefended planets? Oh, look at that. It's on selective. Well, there's the problem. It's not this fleet's prop. It's not this fleet's fault at all. It's entirely the fact that I didn't check what stance they were on. Well, that's my fault. It'll now fall a lot faster. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, maybe we'll finish this war. Maybe. It's more likely that we'll finish it episode after that or maybe the one after that. But the war is essentially over and we're just cleaning up at this point. See you all next time.